Hey friends, welcome back to Solid Gold Scripture Journals. I am Marcy and I'm wearing the same shirt I've been wearing for the last two days. I'm actually filming three days all at once because uh, it's just faster that way for me. Today I wanted to talk about what is scripture confidence. I'm on this journey to develop scripture confidence. Like what am I even talking about? So I want to just be clear what I mean by scripture confidence. Okay. I taught seminary for 11 years and I taught weekly sometimes and sometimes I team taught with another teacher and so I teach every other week and um, it was a lot. I remember my second year I studied the Old Testament and I was not familiar with the Old Testament and one weekend at church I hadn't even looked at my lesson for the following day and the other seminary teachers were talking about how tomorrow we'd be learning about Elijah and Elisha from the Old Testament. And what a beautiful story that was. And they were so excited to teach it. And personally, I did not know who Elijah or Elisha was. The names were vaguely familiar. And I wanted to crumple up in a ball and start to cry because I knew when I went home, I had so much work to do and I did not like that feeling. And so I feel that well, before you're called to be a seminary teacher, if you just do the come follow me lessons little by little, you will know all the stories and you'll have that confidence that you won't be wondering what are these stories about. Another part of scripture confidence I wanted to touch on is memorizing scripture. I really love memorizing scripture. I love memorizing poems and songs and memorizing is I guess a thing of mine, but memorizing scripture is really important and it really builds your scripture confidence because you have those scriptures that you've learned in your head. I really believe that in times where we're wanting to teach a class, a, a certain principle or teach our children or when the Holy Ghost wants us to learn something, when we have those scriptures memorized in our heads, then the Holy Ghost can bring those out to the forefront of our minds and help us to teach or to learn or even give us comfort. I remember a time when I had a friend who asked me if I thought... Let's see. She said, um, do you think Jesus continues to suffer every time we sin? So every time I sin, does he feel that pain? And I thought about it and a scripture came to my mind that I had memorized. And I said, no, I think he's, he has suffered. He no longer continues to suffer. And the scripture doctrine and covenants 19, 16 to 19 came to my mind. And of course I'm a little nervous right now. So going to read it, but um, he said that we would not suffer if we would repent um, because the suffering was really bad and caused himself, even God, the greatest of all to tremble because of pain and to bleed at every pore. And then he says at the end, nevertheless, glory be to the father and I partook, past tense, and finished my preparations unto the children of men. He finished. This was his suffering and it was finite. It was infinite. <laughs> but I, I believe from that scripture in my heart that the time was finite and he, he has finished suffering. So that was just a little bit of scripture confidence that I really appreciated. Um, oh, I remember when I first started reading the scriptures and I would take the Sunday school little booklet home before we had come follow me and I would read along with the Sunday school lesson for the week and then I would answer the questions in the little Sunday school booklets that we used to have. And what do you know? At times I was able to thoughtfully raise my hand and contribute to the Sunday school lessons because I'd taken that time during the week to study and that really built my built my confidence. And I have one more way that I can think of of what scripture confidence is. So again it goes with learning those scripture stories, memorizing those scriptures. I remember once I was speaking to a seminary student who did not want to serve a mission. And this 
person was telling me about why they didn't want to serve a mission. And I, I couldn't really, I, I wanted to help them. I wanted to offer support and advice maybe. And I just couldn't wrap my head around where they were coming from. And then a scripture that I had memorized came into my mind along with the scripture story. And then I knew with exactly where they were coming from. And I was able to help them and approach um, their problem with going on a mission because of what the Holy Ghost had told me. And I thought, wow, that's really an easy way for the Holy Ghost to send us messages. He can send us images of David and Goliath or images of um, the woman at the well, whatever they are, those, those stories or those little snippets of scripture that we've memorized come to the forefront of our mind. And that increases our scripture confidence. So I feel pretty confident in the scriptures and it just started with five minutes a day. So I know we can, we can all do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So I will encourage you to go study your scriptures today and I hope you get what you need from them and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.